Welcome everyone to this new video and today I would like to share with you a Qigong routine that you can use to activate your body, to open your joints, stretch your tendons and allow your energy to flow better in your whole system. It will be a very short routine and I invite you to follow along together with me. So the first exercise will be the ankle rotation and for this bring the weight on one leg, go on the tip of the foot of the other leg and begin to outwardly rotate the leg, creating a rotation in the heel, in the ankle and in the hip. Try to keep the leg as loose as possible. And change. Try to feel your ankle going for its full range of motion. And a few more cycles. Ah, back to the set. breath we're gonna go for the next movement which will be knee rotation which so will grab the knees and begin to rotate them outwardly and squatting down a little bit you can synchronize your breath with the movement For all this exercise, I invite you to breathe in a natural way, try to make your breath deep, long, but still natural and comfortable. And let's change the direction of the rotation. Feeling the knees getting nice and warm. You may hear a little bit of cracking sounds. It's normal. And here, of course, if you can, try to squat down. Otherwise, even like this is also okay. And a few more cycles. Ah, come on. Take a moment to relax. You should feel by now your body starting to activate, your blood starting to run. Mm. And for the next exercise we will do hip rotations. So we'll go with our hands behind our back, grab the wrist of one hand, like so. And if I'm grabbing my left hand, I will start on the left and then forward. I make this circle as big as I can. In the meanwhile, I will try to maintain my head more or less in the same position. So that my hand, my head and my feet are like two stable points and the rotation happens at the level of the hips. In, we are going back and breathing out we go to the front and change the hand and change the rotation And breathing in, and breathing out. Nice and slow, making the circle as big as you can.
Ah, I'm coming back to the center. Ah, rotate the shoulders backwards. Trying to keep the arms relaxed. In all these exercises, you want to try to keep your knees relaxed and slightly bent. Try to make the circle as big as possible to really expand your range of motion. And change to the front. And you can start to expand your movement also to the spine that opens <coughs> that opens and then bends forward together with the chest this movement may take a little bit to become more natural and slowly we make the weight bigger and bigger so when we are going forward, we are sticking the back out and then we are bending and coming up. And come down more and more. Next one we're gonna stay down in the lowest point. Here you can keep your arms relaxed in whichever position or you can even grab your uh, elbows and move your hips a little bit left to right. Keeping your head relaxed. Even bend and straighten the legs a little bit. And a few more times. And slowly coming up and rolling the spine take a moment to rest I'm gonna go open the arms open the chest Time we go a little bit higher. And for the last one, we're gonna cross the fingers, stretch up. And elongate as much as we can the spine. Again, one more centimeter, and then what we're gonna do is to twist the hips forward. So we're trying to pull, to stretch, to elongate the spine on its lower and its upper end. Ah, 
and relax. And one more time. Elongating up, up, up. Getting your arms close to your ears. And then turning down the hips. Trying to gain a bit more of length. And relax. As a last exercise, we're going to shake the body to release any excess tension before closing the practice. Bouncing on the knees, letting the arm wobble. Let's take a few moments to just shake the body. Keep on breathing naturally. And you can bring this shaking motion where you want in the body. Feel more in the shoulders, more in the hips. Accelerate a little bit. Mm. Trying to relax, visualizing the tension flowing downwards to the ground. Observing our body to generate a greater degree of release in our muscle, in our tendons, scanning the body, individuating tension and giving the order of release. Let's continue a little bit more Slow down, make it a bit more intense. And slowing down. And then come to a stop in a standing position with your back upright, with your neck upright. Taking a few breaths just to feel your body nice and relaxed. Observing this feeling of relaxation. observing the space inside and around my body being alive, being dense, being liquid observing the movement of energy inside and around my body we allow this movement to be and the energy to move in whichever way feels correct in whichever way it wants trusting the intelligence and the wisdom of energy give it space to move freely so that we can readjust realign reconnect wonderful energy of life that flows through us, gives life to us and to the whole universe. Breathing deeply in 
oneness with this universe, with this beautiful energy. We close the space of practice.